What's going on everyone? My name is Delin. This is Delin Tech and today we're talking about the Akara Smart Video Doorbell G4. Special thanks to Akara for sending me this video doorbell for review. This is the first HomeKit secure video doorbell that can run on battery power. Thanks to this little box here. This is the chime for the doorbell and this acts as not only a chime, not only a repeater for better connection, but this is the hub for the G4 video doorbell. Now I know what you're thinking. Delenn, I already have a hub from Akara. Why do I need another one? That's just how they designed it. I don't know, but it does have this little micro SD card slot here for local recording on a micro SD card up to 512 gigabytes. So that's nice. Now let's talk specs for a minute. The Akara Smart Video Doorbell G4 has a video resolution of 1920 by 1080 at 30 frames per second. It has a field of view of 162 degrees horizontal, which is different than the other HSV doorbells, which have a vertical field of view. It connects to your 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi and the chime acts as a repeater for your Wi-Fi to strengthen the connection. It comes with free cloud storage up to seven days, supports a micro SD card like I mentioned before, and of course, what we're all here for, it supports HomeKit Secure Video, making it one of only three video doorbells to do so. And it comes in at the lowest price point of any of those options. The Akara Video Doorbell hit Amazon in the US last week at $119, which in comparison is very reasonable for a device of this caliber. Now, for those who don't know what HomeKit Secure Video is, it's a feature of Apple's HomeKit smart home platform, also known as Apple Home, that allows compatible cameras and doorbells to securely store and encrypt video footage in iCloud. Activity zones, facial recognition, and notifications for specific events such as when a person, vehicle, animal, or even a package is detected are all features of HomeKit secure video. With HSV cameras, you can also get notifications on your Apple TV when the doorbell button is pressed. It can chime on your HomePods or HomePod minis and can even tell you who is at the door if they're named in your Photos app. It looks like Eli and others are at the door. Now, what really sets this doorbell apart is the fact that it can run on AA batteries, making this the only HomeKit video doorbell that doesn't have to be hardwired to work. Akara says it can run for up to four months on the six AA batteries inside. Yes, you heard me right six AA batteries. This means you do not have to hardwire this thing. So if you're a renter, for instance, this would be great. Or if you don't have a doorbell wire and want HSV, this is the only option for you. Now, one of the things I like about this video doorbell is the video quality. It looks great and the night mode looks really good as well. It does lack some dynamic range and it's a little bit darker than the other ones. So I'm not a huge fan of that, but overall the video quality is great. Another thing I like is the accessibility in the Akara app, which has features that you won't find in your Apple Home app, such as the ability to automate Akara devices based on who is at the door. Something I would love to see come to the Home app. Something that I'm not seeing anyone else talk about that I really love and am really glad that they thought about is the ability to use your existing Akara hubs as chimes as well. So not only does this chime ring when your doorbell is pressed, but your HomePods and your HomePod minis can ring. And also if you have an existing Akara hub, such as the M2 or the M1S, those can actually be set up to ring as well if you create an automation in the Akara app. I thought that was a really nice touch and was a little concerned they weren't gonna think to include that. Now, speaking on the actual use of this thing, I found it to be very reliable. Now, I'm coming from a Wemo video doorbell and before that, I had the Logitech Circle View video doorbell at my last house. And compared to the Wemo, it's much more reliable. Every time it rings, I can open the app and it's very fast. It loads very quickly. I can open either the Akara app or the Apple Home app and it loads very quickly no matter which one I'm opening it in. So I really do like the reliability. It's quick. When my doorbell is pressed and it pops up on my Apple TV, it actually loads really quickly. So reliability is a win for me. Now, as with any product, there are some things that I'm just not crazy about. For example, you get double notifications when the button is pressed. You get one from the Home app and one from the Akara app. It's a small gripe and I'm sure they'll fix it, but I just wish that it had an option to turn the notifications off in the Akara app without turning all Akara notifications off. Another thing I really don't like about this doorbell that I'm actually probably in the minority on is the 16 by nine horizontal ratio. When I put a video doorbell at my front door, 
I wanna be able to see as much of that porch as I can. I already have cameras outside to see what's going on in my driveway and on the side yard. I wanna be able to see my porch, which is why I would prefer, and I'm probably in the minority of this, I would prefer the Wemo Video Doorbells view over the 16 by nine horizontal ratio. Another thing I'm not a huge fan is the size of this thing. It's massive, and on my front door, it is huge. It looks so bulky. I will say there's a positive side. No one gets confused on whether they should knock or ring the doorbell because it's right there and it's in your face. Another thing I really wanted to touch on is the difficulty of installation compared to the competition. Because of how big this thing is, I did find it difficult to get my doorbell wires attached. And if you have short wires, you may just find it easier to go with the battery powered option so you don't risk breaking off a wire, which I've done and it sucks. The Logitech Circle View and the Wemo Video Doorbell both have the connectors on the mounting plate and it's really easy to get connected there and when you mount the doorbell to the mounting plate, the metal connectors touch the connectors on the plate for power. It would have been so nice to see a car do something like this, especially with the size of this thing. Hey, editing Delane here. So one thing I wanted to mention that has happened since I shot this video is we have actually seen the doorbell go offline twice. Now it'll show this blue ring that starts flashing on the button. And uh, in my research, I did find that this is actually happening to other people as well. And Akara is planning to address it and working to address it. Um, but I wanted to throw that in here that it is going offline. And the only way to reset that that we've found is to completely unhook it from power or take the batteries out and put them back in or rehook it to power. So just wanted to mention that definitely something that um, is happening and you should be aware of. Now, overall, I'd say the Akara Smart Video Doorbell G4 is a solid choice, especially if you're looking for a doorbell that connects with HomeKit Secure Video. It opens a whole new market to be able to enjoy the benefits of HSV with the battery powered option. And I think it would be great for someone who's renting or just doesn't have a doorbell or just wants to have a cheaper option. Now, do you plan on grabbing one of these for your house? Let me know down in the comments. Hit the subscribe button while you're down there. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.